Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing villain, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock it with the best. You heard? Hey yo, the streets don't love you, the block don't either. Police put a price on your head and it's getting cheaper. Youngins in the hood trying to get rich off the reefer. This episode has been sponsored by U.S. Notary Agency. The power of attorney notary experts. Making mom's life a little easier. Check, 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 one, two, one, two. This is your international sales and marketing villain, Tiger Toledo, and we got to get right into it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to see you guys joining me for this episode of, of the 100 for 100 theme show. I will be conducting 100 shows in 100 days. So today we are going to talk about the art of persuasive sampling. Allow me to demonstrate the skill of Shaolin, the special technique of shadow boxing. That's the White Lotus clan of sampling. And I'm going to give you guys a couple of examples and why, and tell you why sampling is very important in your marketing efforts. Marketing is sampling. Sampling is marketing. I want you guys to imagine going out to Sam's Club or Costco and you see a 20 pound bag of something that looks very appetizing but you don't want to take that risk and spend that much money for a 20 pound bag for a brand or a meal that you never had before so what you'll find out in costco and sam's club somebody is in a kiosk possibly giving out samples of some of their items this is very important because the main thing about sampling The main takeaway you should have about sampling, sampling eliminates risk. I'll repeat that. Sampling eliminates risk. So when someone samples that, you know, Parmesan chicken uh, before they buy the 20 pound bag, if they like it, they go ahead and go purchase it. If they don't like it, they'll leave it alone. So it eliminated the risk of them buying the bag and getting home and not liking it and then bringing the whole bag back, right? So sampling eliminates risk. So let's go into a couple of examples. And while I'm going through these examples, think of some ways that you can incorporate some type of sampling in your business. Let's look at the construction business. The way they would do sampling is they would have a portfolio of pictures of successful completed projects. So they'll have a before and after picture of a project that they've worked on completed. That way the person can see and sample their work and see if their style of construction coincides with theirs. Another one would be maybe a plastic surgeon. A plastic surgeon would also have a before and after portfolio of their pictures before the nose job, after the nose job, before the Brazilian butt implants, after the Brazilian butt implant, right? So you would have something like that. Portfolios are very, very good to give the customer and client a show like a small show to show them what you're capable of doing. (laughs) Graphic designers do it all the time. Photographers do it all the time. Now, uh, places like health clubs, health clubs will offer something like free 30-day trial. A free 30-day trial, you can try it out, see how you like the atmosphere of the health club, uh, You know, do a couple of visits with our personal trainers, see if you like that, 
see if, you know, give it a test run, give it a test try. Car dealership does it also. They'll have you test run the car, you know, test drive the car. So when you're test driving the car, can you see yourself behind this wheel? Does it have enough horsepower for you? Is this is something like, do you like, do you like the leather? Do you like cloth? You know, do you like the six disc CD changer? All of those things are sampling. They're giving the customer a chance to sample the product. Let's think about when you go into a mall like uh, Macy's or Bloomingdale's. They'll have fragrance models, right? And what do those fragrance models do? They'll spritz some of the latest fragrance by Dolce Gabbana on your on your wrist, or maybe they'll spritz it on a piece of cardboard, wave it, and have you smell it. Once you smell it, it's like, ah, oh, you know what? I like that smell. Let me go purchase that bottle. You understand? I hope you guys are is sinking in. Sampling is awesome. It is awesome for you to get your customer off the ropes, eliminate whatever risk that they were going to have, and then get the sale. Chiropractors do it also. Chiropractors will do like some free spinal exam. Uh, advisors, if you're an advisor, like a lawyer or anything like that, you might offer free consultations. So uh, these are just samples. I just want to get your mind jogging in the right direction. Another one, musicians. Musicians do it all the time, too. They'll give you a snippet of a song or a single that they might have coming out. If you go on Google Play or iTunes, you can play like a couple of seconds of the song or the album to see if you want to purchase it or not. So sampling is huge. Remember that. It helps eliminate risk. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a quick rapid fire video. But um, if you guys have a topic that you would like me to cover, drop it in the comment section below. Also, if you would like to be a sponsor of one of my episodes, packages will be coming out. You'll be able to sponsor one, three, or five episodes. I'm capping out at five because I want to keep it open for a few other sponsors. So if you feel in the vibe, join the tribe and subscribe. You heard? Peace.